Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Introduce yourself. My name is Flo. I'm the guitar player in Long Distance Calling. And I'm Jan. I'm the bass player in Long Distance Calling. Welcome to the UK. Welcome. Hello. So, this is the last uh, show in tour. How has it been going? Good so far. Yeah, so it was fun. So we, we were uh, headlining in Germany. In Germany, so we did some like 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 adventure tours. Like like having okay. them and supporting in Germany, and they have us supporting in the UK. Okay, so you guys have an album coming out in March. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna come back after that is released? We hope so. Yeah. So we As are in for fall, autumn, yeah. year. Okay, let's talk us out about this album first of all. Um, how do you compare it to the, the one before? Um, I think the new album is more like we sound on stage as a band. Yeah. A bit more, let's say, a bit, a, a bit heavier maybe and yeah, and a bit more energetic. More, yeah, more energetic and a bit more. Um, more rock, more rock orientated, but without losing the atmosphere, atmosphere. melody. So um, that was very important to us to have to s still have this atmosphere and melody hook lines. Uh, you guys been most times they find pop rock, but actually they found a lot of names for you. Some you might like, some you might not. How would you define yourself? It doesn't have to be a term. It can mm. be a sentence. It yeah. can be um, anything. I would define our music as instrumental rock or instrumental progressive rock, something like that. Yeah. So, but I'm. I have to say, if someone calls us post rock, I'm fine. That's okay. With, with that, because it's. It's a personal thing for everyone. Uh, if someone is, um, yeah, if it um, helps someone to describe our music, then it's, it's okay. okay for me. It's fine. So, how did the, the idea of going instrumental come about? Accidentally, yeah. Yeah. more because um, when we started as a band, we were we were. Started to write songs as um, a five piece, and we were searching for a singer, and um, there was absolutely no one for us. Yeah. So and nobody fit in the band, yeah. and like you know, it, it just didn't feel right. And then we realized that the songs work without a singer, so we just kept it like this. So when you recorded your first demo, mm -hmm. um, had you already given up on the idea of having a singer? Oh, or fun. had you already uh, given up no, on the idea of having a singer or no, you were no, still no. looking? Um, I think I think we were still thinking about looking for a singer when we recorded the first album and and even after the first album but that but the, the between the first and the second yeah, we have thought the about it and, and still we but decided to no, stay no. in instrumental band no. because we it works for us so yeah. So now, even if you would bump into the right person, you would just keep it as it is? Nobody knows, really. If We're not sure about that. If it's an amazing singer that we can't let go, so maybe not, uh, why not? So, but it really has to be somebody really, really, really good. Good and... And the problem is we have five completely different guys, yeah, and to find yeah. one guy that everybody likes, that's almost impossible. Yeah, and he has to fit into the band. It, it, Personally and yeah, musically. musically, and um, well, the important thing for us is not to have a real front man, not uh, not uh, a not person perform on stage who is yeah. the main performer on stage yeah. because we don't want that. We don't want that. We not be. Let's say all of us is. Uh, um, yeah, the the same, band is it's on the same level, actually. Yeah, the, the singer always end up being yeah, yeah. sort of the frontman of yeah, the band, yeah. is it? No. Do you find it easier for the band to get along when there is no singer and everybody's a bit on the same level? Yeah, I think so. And 
What about the songwriting? Is it harder to express yourself or express a concept without lyrics? Mm. No, I think it's that it's a two different. It's within the years we got something used to it. Yeah, it's not normal. Like so 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 we just don't, don't think about it. It's, yeah. it's the way we are working together. You guys always have some uh, very special guests for your albums, for yeah. the vocal parts in yeah. some of it. And this time is John Bush from yes. Armour Saint and Anthrax. How do you pick them? Do they come to you? Do you go look for them? Yeah, we're looking for them. We're looking for them. We had a, uh, we had a list with, with some names and, and um, John was on it. Yeah, he was on the list and, and we, we, uh, we Asked him, and he, he said, support. "Yeah." And he said, "Okay, I'm, I'm going to do this." Okay. So, and we, okay, okay, great. No, it was just we are all, always just asking, and they can't say nothing more than a no or something. Yeah. So, and that's why we just. What happened to the rest of the list? On Did you? What happened to the rest of the know, list? Was John the first one no, or on the list? The, it was actually the first one we really was one of the names were approaching. Yeah. Was your first choice? There, yeah, there were some names on the list which were a bit completely unrealistic. To and we unrealistic didn't but even try or and find a contact or something like that. And for your next album, who would be a dream name? You can a say name. anyone, dead or alive. The Pope. No. no. <laughs> um, that's a different person. I'm not the Pope. Uh, <laughs> Well, it's a good question. Jim Morrison, no, no, no. It's um, Robert Plant for me, maybe. Yeah, Robert Plant. Um, Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard ask you, yeah, maybe. Ask him. I've heard you guys all have different influences, but if you should pick um, a couple, a couple that would get you all together, which one would they be? I think you can say Pink Floyd is. Yeah, it's maybe the main. The main influence. Not musically, but from the approach of making music, the yeah. whole atmosphere, uh, and the reason why we are together, I think the feeling of the music and some old stuff, uh, as well as some metal stuff, because we are all yeah. from the from the metal scene a bit, and, and, and yeah, um, the Zeppelin, some yeah, of course, this whole tools, of course. This whole 70s rock stuff and um, so oh, it's pretty much it's a bit of everything. Even on the first album was a song with a fresh yeah. riff or rhythm. So it's even some electronic sounds. Electronic sounds. So it's basically a lot of our. So we're not 21 anymore. We really listen to a lot of music in our lives. So it's basically. I think we even don't really know. So it's just concentrated yeah. in our heads like all this and years and years and years of listening to to music. Uh, we said at the beginning you guys are headlining in Germany. <coughs> you didn't get that far yet in the UK. Uh, do you think this might be the album that is going to push you far in the UK? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. You we never know, know that. We know how difficult it is in the UK for every band, but especially for a German band. But we do believe that we might have a chance, so we know that it's hard work here. Maybe it's and we want to work hard. Yeah, and maybe we have the chance because we're instrumental band. We yeah. don't have a singer with a very mediocre English or, or German like English that, or something. That accent, which like is now, like so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like now, yeah. no, it's just like us. So and, and I think so. We just need the right an advantage for us. The right tours and the right time. Maybe some good festivals. I mean, the press for the, for the last album was already pretty good, like the reviews. Yeah. So, but the UK is a market where you have to play um, live shows. That's so important. Festivals. Is oh. there any of them that you would like particularly to play that you think would fit your music? In England or in uh, any in, in the UK? In the UK, a festival you would like to play? I bought it. <laughs> oh, there are some download festivals, for download, example. Of course, but, but yeah. I would go for high voltage. I mean, 
and um, have you put your uh, tapes to Not them? Yet, but we have a UK booker now, so hopefully... Did you have any UK booker for yeah, yeah. the past two albums? No, no, no. So this is actually the first time you've yeah, seen the first break. time now that everything falls into place. We have an agent here, a good press agent. Everything. Are you planning anything overseas as well, or is it just Europe you're trying we to We would start? love to, like Japan, maybe OEM, oh yeah. and US, but I want to do this. I'm that's not in our hands. One of the in Japan, of course. Yeah. I wanna, that's but let's see, so maybe that was not the reason we were doing it, but of course this John Bush thing might have a little in the US, so I don't know, let's see. Okay. We would be up for it. Of course. Who not? So yeah. uh, that's true. Is there anything else you would like to tell your potential UK fans? The UK fans? Yeah. yeah um, Check out yeah, the new album and uh, come to the shows and you know, support us. Well, if you don't find it in the shops, you can get it on Amazon, but go to UK and play .com. And yeah, hopefully see you soon in autumn 2011. Thank Cheers. you.